All right, we're going to look at uh, rendering out a model. I've got a model of gears pulled up here in 3D Max. And the first thing we need to look at when we're rendering is up here in the render menu. Click on that and click on render set it, setup. And from here you see the time output. And with a single output selected, it's going to render a picture, just one frame of your animation. If we were to choose range, that's going to allow us to set which one of which range you're going to actually render out. So if we were to set this from 0 to 100, it's going to render out all of the frames from 0 to 100. If we set this to 50, it's only going to render out frames 50 through 100. So for this particular one at first, we're going to do a single. The next thing we want to look at, if you have materials put on your model, especially planes and things like that, you want to force two-sided. That means it's going to actually render out both sides of the planes. Now, if we were to put planes on here and put pictures and that those particular planes created a box and you were not going to see inside the box, then force two-sided wouldn't be used. We're going to come down here to render output. This is where you're going to tell it where to save your file what to name it and what type of file you want. So we're going to click on files and by default it's going to go to render output. You can save it to your desktop which is easier to find than the render output. And we're going to name this gears. And we're going to select a format in this particular one we're going to choose JPEG. And we're going to click save and OK. Now from here, every time we hit render, it's going to save it as gears unless we rename that. So it's going to overwrite every time we render out. So we'll render it out the first time. And this is what we get. Now I'm going to flip this around and you can see whatever you have inside the activated window is what it's going to render. So if I activate this window and I hit render, it's going to render that window. If I click on this viewport and hit render, it's going to render out that one. Now, if I want to render out a movie, a couple of things we need to change. We're going to change our range from 0, and I'm going to change it to 200. And I also need to change my file type to a movie, which in this case I'm going to do AVI. And now when I render, you're going to see frame by frame it making the movie. And it's going to go through all of the frames. You can see here how it's going through all of the frames. We're on 95 now. And as soon as it gets to 200, it'll stop and be a static picture. And I'm going to go pull up the video so we can see it. Okay, here I've pulled up the video, and when we play it, you see how that works.